Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making an extra small dog sweater. Now this video has been uh, requested quite a lot for an extra small dog. And I am finally here with this cute sweater. You're working some front post and some double crochets here. And we do some slight increasing. And we also have ribbed arms here on this dog sweater. So then we go ahead and change colors here. And then we start our work in the back, working these ribs in the back. And I call them ribs because it looks really like knitted almost. And it has that ribbing effect. So this really cute, adorable, extra small dog sweater works up very quickly. We're using double crochets and some single crochets around the sweater. That's about it. So this sweater is very easy to make. It works up very quickly using double crochets. What I really love about this pattern is even though we're using chain threes and they count, you can't really see the line unless you really look. And it blends in so well. And uh, this works up very quickly. This can be made within an hour. So here is the back. As you can see really cute right so um, to make the sweater today you are going to need a couple of materials okay I used super saver by red heart this is fairly soft for a super saver usually when you get the super savers they're kind of rough this one's very soft and this is in the color minty I used a variegated yarn for this one this one is in the color reef and I found this at my local Walmart. So there's Reef. Reef is a very pretty color. I think it complemented the sweater very good, don't you think? And for today's hook, we will be using a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. And this is a G6. You can find this at uh, your local Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, and so on. You're also going to need some scissors. Look at these cute little scissors my sister got me. They're so tiny, but they work so well. You can find these at World Market. So let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. Okay, so we are going to be starting off with a slip knot. And we are going to be chaining a total of 38 chains. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, and thirty-eight. We have a total of thirty-eight chains. So we are going to straighten out our chain as best as we can, taking care to not twist. And we are going to connect it to the very first chain that we made. Okay. Whoops. Let's make sure that it gets in there. Okay, and put that around your hook, just like that. And then we are going to slip stitch through, okay? Just kind of pull that tight. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really like to work over the straggler. So while you are doing your double crochets, you can work over uh, the straggler. For round one, we are going to chain three. The chain three is going to count as our very first double crochet. And here on and throughout, unless I state that it is not, it's going to count as a double crochet. So let's go ahead and get started. For round one, chain three. There's one, two, and three. This chain three is going to be our very first double crochet. Next, we are going to go into the very second double crochet that is right there. We're not sure where to go. It's not this first stitch, but it's the second stitch right here. 
we are going to go into there for a double crochet. That is going to be our very second double crochet. And I'm working over the straggler, by the way. So there's one and two. We are going to double crochet into every chain around the whole ring. And you want to have a total of 38 double crochets. I am going to keep putting one double crochet all the way around the whole ring for a total of 38 double crochets. So go ahead and complete your 38 double crochets and I will meet you when I get to the end. I am back from round one and I have a total of 38 double crochets. As I stated before, this chain three counts as a double crochet. Therefore, we want to slip stitch to the very first top of the chain, which is right here. Now, we want to slip stitch there to the top. Just by slip stitching right there and through. Oops. Okay, so now we have slip stitch. For round two, chain three. One, two, and three. Now most people like to do the back post double crochet. For this tutorial, we're going to do double crochets instead of back post double crochets. These are going to pose as a back post double crochet, all the way we are not. So, this counts as like a back post double crochet, but it's not. So, pretend this is just a double crochet, we are going to yarn over and into this very second double crochet next to the chain three right here. This is going to be a front post double crochet. If you do not know how to do a front post double crochet or you do not know what a front post double crochet is, if you know what a double crochet is, it's basically doing it over the, the post of the double crochet. So, let me show you how to do a front post double crochet. Simply yarn over, just like so. You are going to take your hook and pull it down. You are going to go under the desired double crochet, which is this one. You're going to go underneath the post, okay, and you're going to take your working yarn, put it over the hook, pull it under and behind, pull up, yarn over, and pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And you have completed your very first front post double crochet. Next, into this very next double crochet, you're going to put one double crochet. After that, put a front post double crochet into the next double crochet. Okay, just like I showed you, yarn over, pull through the back, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, which you can get through there. We're going to put a double crochet into the next double crochet. 
right here, we're going to put a front post double crochet. Next, we are going to put a double crochet and then put a front post double crochet right into the very next double crochet. Put a double crochet into the very next double crochet. I don't know if anybody has this issue with the boy hook or any of the boy hooks in fact I've had this problem with the five millimeter actually not the five millimeter the uh, i9 5.5 millimeter crochet hook I just noticed that it kind of has a hard time catching the yarn sometime so put a front post double crochet see how it's kind of hard to pick up the yarn sometimes and then it splits and then we're going to put a double crochet after that and then put a front post double crochet after that okay so this is going to be your repeat all the way around you will end with a front post double crochet so go ahead and keep repeating this all the way around and we will meet when they get to the end so i'm back as i stated you will end with a front post double crochet so as you can see, I ended with the front post. We are going to slip stitch to the very first top of the chain. Okay. Now for round three, you are going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we are going to be moving a little bit more quickly because now you know how to do the front post double crochets. And the posts and the double crochets are your guide. You already know the chain three counts as a double crochet. So we are going to go into the next uh, front post double crochet right here. Okay. And we're going to do a front post double crochet over that. Okay. And when I say that it's your guide, it's because you're going to know where to put a double crochet. And you are going to know where to put a front post double crochet so right here you see there's a double crochet you're going to immediately go in there for a double crochet then you see it poking out and you can kind of feel it too especially if you're a beginner you will know you can feel the posts sticking out and you're going to go over that front post with a front post double crochet Then you are going to put a double crochet into the next double crochet and then put a front post into the very next front post you see then put a double crochet and then a front post double crochet because there's a front post then put a double crochet because there's a double crochet here Then put a front post double crochet. Okay. And then we're going to do a double crochet. That's what I was talking about with the splitting. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. Then a double crochet. And then a front post double crochet and you're going to repeat this all the way around you're just putting wherever there's a double crochet you put a double crochet if there's a front post double crochet you just do a front post double crochet over that so go ahead and keep repeating this around and when we come to the end we will be changing up what we're doing next okay so I've come to the end of round three now we are changing gears now because we're getting ready to finish off, but not yet. 
we are going to chain one and you are going to single crochet into the very same stitch as the chain one which is where the chain three was you're going to go into the next stitch right here right next to that one for another single crochet and then you're going to put one single crochet all the way around and you want to have a total of 38 single crochets and then we will be changing colors to our color reef which is the variegated yarn that I showed you in the beginning okay okay so I'm going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to finish off using scissors. Uh, some people like to change colors differently. Some people like to, you know, like me, cut off and reattach the new color, which looks a lot more cleaner. Uh, some other people like to just slip stitch and before fully slip stitching, slip their color through. But I don't do that anymore since I learned another way. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn and I am now done with the color minty. So there it is. There's our little band. Okay. So now we are going to be attaching our new color, which is the color uh, reef. And this is a very pretty color. It's got a lot of blues in it, which is why I liked it. And I chose this color. It's got browns and it's got some blues, which is what I like. So how I joined my color, in case anybody's curious, I do a slip stitch. And I put the slip not onto the hook pull that tight and I'm going to go back to where I just finished off which is right here so you're going to slip stitch right here I'm going to pull this through and I'm going to pull that tight okay and I'm going to and I'm going to put this straggler in the back and I'm going to be crocheting over it. Okay, and you can even cut the tail if you want to, like I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it kind of short because I hate when it takes long to kind of tuck it in. So I'm going to cut it kind of short there. And. If you crochet over it, you'll love it more. Okay, now we are doing regular double crochets, no more front post double crochets and all that jazz. We are going to chain three, one, two, and three. We are going to be placing one double crochet all the way around, okay? The chain three counts as a double crochet, and you are just putting one double crochet all the way around which is going to be very simple not hard stuff and there's so many colors that you can uh, use to make this little sweater especially if you're making it for a a uh, female pup um, the colors are endless there's so many beautiful yarns that red heart is coming out with and has come out with you have a lot of pink variegated yarns too this would be so pretty in a pink color with some pink variegated colors just some throwing some options out there you can make this in any color you want purple yellow I made one for my grandpa's dog, and my grandpa's a die-hard 
Golden State Warriors fan. And I made it uh, Golden State Colors. The band was yellow and I made the body of it blue and then the end yellow. So you can also applique, embellish, or do things with this sweater, not just crochet this. And I just noticed that I didn't crochet over the brown, which I'm going to have to go back and do. But um, we're just putting one double crochet all the way around, okay? Nothing else, just one double crochet. And I will meet you guys when I get towards the end. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I've come to the end, and I just wanted to tell you guys before we continue, when we, before we finished off, we did the single crochets around the last stage before we finished off. I wanted to let you know that this counted as a round. This was round, uh, this was round four. Okay, so the single crochet round was round four. We are now on round five, going on to round six. Just wanted to tell you guys that because I haven't been really telling you guys what round we're on. Okay, um, we are going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet if I can get into there. <laughs> okay. And then for round six, chain three, one, two, and three. And we're just going to repeat exactly what we did on this round. And you were just going to put one double crochet all the way around. So just keep putting one double crochet. So we've come to the end of round six and we just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and now we are going to be doing some increasing. So for round seven, chain three, one, two, three, we are going to place one double crochet into the next two double crochets and this is going to count as a double crochet because we're going to be putting three double crochets into the very first three stitches, okay? One, two, three double crochets. And then we are going to increase to the fourth, putting two double crochets. Just like that. So we have one, two, three double crochets. And remember that chain three counts as a double crochet and then we increase by putting two double crochets we're going to repeat this all the way around okay so place one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three i hate this uh hook you guys can use a better hook please do so and now we're going to put two double crochets there's one and two now we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three and then an increase by placing two double crochets and you're going to repeat this all the way around so go ahead and place one double crochet into the first three stitches and then increase the placing two so go ahead and do that I'll be back in a moment okay coming to the end you should have a total of 47 stitches 
and now slip stitch to the very top of the chain three okay so i don't know what's up with this loop okay so slip stitch into there again okay now we are going to be creating armholes chain three one two and three whoops for round eight we are creating armholes this counts as a double crochet we are going to double crochet into the very first three stitches it's actually four but this counts as a double crochet so into the next three stitches for a total of four okay put a double crochet one two three and four so there's four double crochets we are going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven yarn over and we are going to skip seven stitches counting from here one two three four five six seven and into the eighth stitch right there and join with the double crochet these little armholes are so cute we are going to double crochet to the very next 28 double crochets okay so I have double crocheted into the last 28 stitches after double crocheting to join and we are going to chain up seven one two three four five six and seven yarn over and into this very last double crochet right here this is your eighth stitch skipping a total of seven stitches and we have made our second armhole to the top of the chain three we are going to go to the top and do a slip stitch okay if you guys hear any snoring that's my dog that's hazel sleeping okay so from here on it's going to be very easy you are going to only place one double crochet all the way around okay for round nine we are going to do together because this is a the, like pretty much the beginning of making the sweater uh, so place one double crochet into every stitch but remember that the chain three counts so you don't put nothing in there okay and Okay, so we're going to put a total of seven double crochets into the chains. There's one double crochet. There's two. There's four. One, two, three, four. Five. There's six. And seven. Now we can't forget to go in here. So please make sure you go in here, otherwise your count will be off. Okay, so we had a total of seven here, 
and then when we double crochet to join you have an extra double crochet you have to you know double crochet into and then we're going to continue around placing one double crochet until we get to the other side and of course when you get to the chain bridge area we're going to repeat the same thing that we did on this side putting one double crochet into the actual stitches not working over them we're working into them okay okay so I've come to the end of round nine and I'm going to slip stitch to the top here of the chain three and we will have 48 double crochets all the way around and remember that this last double crochet you want to double crochet into okay so you will have 48 double crochets now from round 10 all the way until you get to round 12 you are going to repeat this only putting a chain three at the beginning of every round one two and three and you're just going to put one double crochet all the way around very simple so just put one double crochet all the way around and i will meet you guys when i get to round 12. actually i will meet you guys when i get to the end of round 12. So we are going to keep putting one double crochet all the way around until we get to round 12. When we get to round 12, at the end, we will finish off and reattach to make the back. So go ahead and keep repeating one double crochet and I will meet you when I get to the end of round 12. Okay, so we've come to the end of round 12. And we're going to slip stitch to the very top of the three chain. Okay, so I'm going to chain one and I'm just going to finish off. So I'm going to grab my little scissors. These are so cute. These aren't even as big as, well, they are big as my palm, <laughs> actually. I can barely even put my fingers inside here. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and finish off to the little scissors. And pull that through. Okay. And this is the first half of the sweater okay so now let's go ahead and get started with the back of the sweater here okay so I'm back you're going to need some stitch markers I use this I get this from uh, Joann's I have a big one too it's huge I want to get one and and here you will find my stitch markers. Stitch marker heaven in here. I got these ones off eBay for a dollar. There's like hundreds of them. Anyways, to place your stitch marker, we are going to be placing a stitch marker nine stitches from where you finished off. Okay? So here's your chain three right here. Let me go ahead and point it out. There is the chain three. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So right here is where we're going to put our first stitch marker, which is where we are going to be beginning. So put a stitch marker there. To place your other stitch marker, we are going to be going, we are going to be going five, from the chain three. So here's the chain three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is going to be our ending. And this is going to be our beginning. So beginning goes to the left. And the ending goes to the right. I had to think about that. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be getting our yarn. And we are going to be reattaching our yarn again from where we finished off. 
But um, we're not going back to where the chain three is, by the way. We're just going to go back where the first stitch marker is right here. Okay, so that's nine stitches away from the chain three. So let me show you. This is the beginning. So remove that. You guys already know how I like to join. So I'm going to slip stitch this through. Okay. And let's get started. Okay, so chain three, one, two, and three. This is going to count as our very first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet right here. And we are going to double crochet all the way until we reach the other side where the stitch marker is, okay? So I double crochet until I got to the other side of where I placed my stitch marker. So you just want to remove that. And I double crochet into there, okay? Now we are going to chain three, one, two, and three, okay? Now we're going to be working back and forth. We're working in rows now, so there's no working in rounds. So you leave the remaining stitches unworked. So now we are going to decrease and this is where it gets tricky because uh, the chain three in the beginning was counting as a stitch and now it is not going to count unless I state it does. We are going to decrease and we are going to go right into this chain three uh, stitch right here. And we are going to do a double crochet decrease. Okay. If you don't know how to do a double crochet decrease, all you do is go in like if you were going to do a double crochet, pull through two, yarn over, go into the second stitch indicated right there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you have done a decrease and then we're going to go about the round or the row sorry and then we're just going to place one double crochet until we get to the last two and then we will double crochet two together okay so go ahead and get back to the other side and I will be back in just a moment when it comes to the end Okay, so I've come to the end, and remember how I said the chain three did count is because we're going to decrease the chain three and the next double crochet that we did in the beginning. So we've come to the last two, okay, the chain three and this. Now we're going to do a double crochet decrease. Okay, and that's uh, one, two, three, right here, we're going to go into here. And decrease this one it's kind of hard to work into the stitch okay and then you have decreased those two okay so we're going to chain three one two three and we are going to decrease once more before we finish off so now we are going to decrease once more and then the second one together okay actually this is our last round we do a total of three rows with this color 
finish off and then we're going to join with minty sorry about that so just put one double crochet until you get to the other side as well so we're only putting one double crochet and then when we get to the end we're going to join the last two uh, stitches together and then we're going to change our color and then uh, we are doing some ribbing which is the end of the back we'll be doing three to four rows of the ribbing it depends on how much ribbing you want on the back and if your dog has a shorter back then you may not want to do too much ribbing maybe do two or three rows of it not four From what I have seen, <clears throat> excuse me, from what I've seen on dog charts on the internet, they said that the dogs are usually from seven to about nine inches long for five pound dogs, like the Yorkies and the Chihuahuas. And I decided to make it about nine inches. So the sweater is nine inches with the fourth uh, round of ribbing but you can simply just do three if you don't want it too long very easy you just cut off one row and just keep trying this on your dog okay so we're almost at the end here Okay, so this is going to be kind of tricky because you can't tell sometimes where you're going to decrease. Okay. Okay. So here's where it gets twisty. I made this chain three when I came to this side not count as a stitch the chain three okay because I went into a double crochet into that same stitch but what I am doing is these are supposed to be my last two stitches because I joined them as one what I'm going to do to make it even is go into here for a decrease yarn over go into the top of the chain three and I'm going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through those three loops and that makes it even I originally went through these two stitches put them together but it looks so uneven uh, when I first created the, the pattern so I just decided to just make it that little twist so please uh, feel free to do it as you like you don't even have to decrease if you want to you can leave it like that but I like how it gives this V shape which is why I do the decreasing okay so now we are going to finish off and we are going to join the color minty okay so go ahead and chain one like this okay go ahead and finish off chain one and then we're going to be reattaching the color minty okay so right where I ended I am going to come here and I'm going to slip stitch this through and I'm going to chain three one two and three and I'm going to tuck this in the back so I can crochet over it 
This is going to count as a double crochet, the chain three. Go ahead and put one double crochet into every stitch. Across. Okay, so we should have a total of 34 double crochets, and it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, if you're off one, two, or three, it really doesn't matter because, you know, it's it's um, going to turn out the same, you know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So, <clears throat> I'm going to chain three. By the way, I wanted to add, in the last chain three... I put my last double crochet into the top of the chain three that was there before, okay? And if this gets too screwy for you, don't worry about it. If you're like, oh, I didn't I didn't put my double crochet in there or I missed a stitch, don't worry. It's it's gonna turn out the same. Uh it may not turn out as wide, but it's okay. You can always adjust it however you want to. So one, two, three now we are going to be working front post double crochets and a double crochet like we did around the band this is going to count as our first double crochet so we put nothing there simply go into the second double crochet and put a front post double crochet put a double crochet into the very next stitch after that then we're going to put a front post double crochet after that just like we did. Then we're going to put a double crochet into here. Okay. Then we are going to put a front post double crochet. Then we are going to put a double crochet right there. Kind of turn your work as you go. And then we are going to put a front post double crochet right there. And then put a double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. So we're going to keep repeating this until we get to the end. Okay, just putting double crochet, then a front post double crochet. Then double crochet and then front post double crochet. I should already know how to do this. I mean, if you're at this part already, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know how to do it since we're over in this section of the video. And then put a front post double crochet. So go ahead and continue this until we get to the end, and I'll be back in just a moment. Right here is a chain three. So you're going to be like, well, I have one more stitch left, and I'm supposed to end on a double crochet. Go ahead and avoid this chain three because, you know, nobody's going to know anyways. And um, we're going to pretend that this isn't here. So like I said, even if you end with one less uh, stitch, if you end with 33 stitches, great. Because you will end on a double crochet, which is what you're supposed to land on. However, I have a thing with even numbers. I try to make things even as possible. And when I did it an even number, it just uh, kind of turned on me and I have an extra stitch. But no biggie because my last one did that too. But uh, so you can just ignore this chain three. If you if you are following my directions as is, you can go ahead and just ignore this. Because you're going to single crochet around it anyways and you can't tell. So we're going to chain three again. And because we're working in rows... Um, you're going to be mirroring exactly what you're doing. So you see how this is our first double crochet now? Uh, you're not going to put nothing in here because this chain three counts as a double crochet. This front pose, you want to keep it that way, right? So we're, we're, we're working opposite side. So we want to mirror exactly what's on this side, which is a back post double crochet. Okay. To keep it a, a front post double crochet because you want to keep those 
like that. And then you're going to put a double crochet right here into this one. And then you're going to put a back post double crochet after that. Then do a double crochet right there. And then do a back post double crochet. So what you're doing is back post double crochets and a double crochet. So where there's a, just a single double crochet right there, you're going to put a back post double crochet wherever there's a front post. And if you're not sure, you can just flip your work over and see exactly where you're at. So I see there's a front post, so I have to do a back post to make it a front post to make it stay that way because we're working in rows okay and then uh, we have a double crochet so put a double crochet and now I can feel the post I feel that there's a front post so do a back post double crochet when in actually you're doing a front post double crochet but you're doing it like a back post double crochet you're mirroring it why is my yarn doing that okay Go back and fix that oh, stupid yarn okay and then we're gonna go in with a double crochet and then a back post so go ahead and complete the rest of the row and I'll be back in just a moment okay so I've come to the end and we have the chain three, so one, two, three, go into the top of the chain three, and then place your double crochet. One, two, three, right there. And then put a double crochet into there. Man, what is up with my yarn and my hook? It's like either getting stuck or it's like, <sighs> I'm not cooperating. Yarn doesn't like me today. Okay. So we've come to the end, and if you like it this long, and you want to try it on your dog, and if it fits, then go ahead and keep it this way. But I went two more rounds, or actually rows, one, two, so chain three, one, two, and three. And you're going to... <clears throat> So now that we are facing the right side, we are going to do a double crochet. We didn't, uh, ha we don't have to do nothing here because the chain three counts. So we're going to go directly into here for a front post double crochet. Okay, so now we are going to place a double crochet here. Okay, and then we're going to put a front post double crochet right here because there's a front post double crochet. Then we will put a double crochet here because there's a, a double crochet. And then we're going to place a front post double crochet and put a double crochet. And then place a front post double crochet. And we're just going to keep repeating this until we get to the end of the row. And we will land on a double crochet. And you are going to repeat this one more time if you like the length of the sweater that I originally made. These are, this is uh, three rows so far. So you can either end here if you feel like this length is good for you. Or you could, like I said, you could go one more row and make it a little longer if you want to. But you can try it on your dog after this round, or this row, sorry. And then if it's good, then go ahead and finish off. And then just single crochet around the sweater. So I went ahead and went four rows of the ribbing and personally I don't have an extra small dog to try this on but I'm pretty sure it looks really cute 
And uh, if this is too long for your dog, you can just take off one, one row, maybe even two. It's really up to you. So I have, of course, all of these tails. I already finished off. So what we're going to do is reattach our yarn once again. If you finish on a, I want to say the right side, you can go ahead and go along. If you finish, if, you know, this is upside down. If you finished on this side, just chain one and continue to crochet around. But don't go to the left and then crochet because it's going to go backwards and the yarn is going to not look good around here. So rejoin your yarn. This is the best way to tuck your ends in. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Chain one. So I'm just going to single crochet around. And all I do is just single crochet. And you can try to go inside of the actual chains and not go into the holes because if you do, it's going to make a bigger hole. So just put one single crochet into every chain per row. My baby keeps coming in here to visit his mommy. Okay, so as you can see, it's already starting to look good now that we're crocheting around it. And the extras, you can just cut off in the end. And remember how I said right here how I skipped one of the, the chain threes? You can't even tell because you... You uh, single crochet in the end around the sweater. So I'm going into a chain here, another chain here. Hope everyone's having a great week. Actually, weekend. Tomorrow's going to be Sunday. Super Bowl. My Patriots go against the Atlanta Falcons. Yes, I'm a Patriots fan. And tomorrow we win the Super Bowl. Hopefully. So, just keep repeating this all the way around. Putting one single crochet all the way around. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to flip my work upside down. Okay, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because this is a variegated yarn. But I'm going to try my hardest to demonstrate uh, how I did this. And I'm going to start off at the bottom where I can actually see the chains. Now I'm going to start off right here. Okay, there's an increase right here in the corner. And I'm going to start right here to the very uh, left of the chain. And I'm going to slip stitch through. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. This is going to count as your double crochet. <sighs> My baby is so cute. He just keeps coming up to me. Oh, I love my baby. Okay, so chain three this is going to count as your first double crochet. And now we are going to uh, put one double crochet into the next chains over here. So there's one, two, and there's three. And there's four. Five, six, and seven. 
which is what we chained up. So that's why we have seven here. Oops, didn't mean to shake the camera there. And we're going to go into here. So there's eight. That was the double crocheted join. So there's eight. Turn in your work. Okay, and we're gonna uh, fill this area right here. So there's nine. Turning our work upside down. Okay, so there's these chains right here, okay? So this is gonna be kind of hard to see because these aren't exactly workable chains, but these are the chains uh, that we skipped. So it's going to be kind of hard. So what we're going to do is actually work into the post and versus up here. Because if we try to work up here, it's just not going to work out. Okay. Now working through the actual post, here is 10, 11, 12 and then there's 13 okay and turn in your work 13 and then there's 14 15 remember you're working through these posts and then 16 then 17 come on And then turn my work almost back to the beginning. Whoops. And here's 19. Because you see this right here? We're gonna fill, we're gonna skip right here and then put 19 right here. Okay. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Okay. And there's really no right or wrong way of doing this. I mean, if you accidentally add a stitch or two, it really doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay, so chain three. One, two, three. This counts as your first double crochet, so you put nothing here. Over the second post, put a front post double crochet. After that, place one double crochet. After that, we're going to put a front post double crochet. So it's basically creating the, the band, but on to the arm sleeve. Then we're going to put a double crochet. And then we're going to put a front post double crochet. And then a double crochet okay and we're gonna repeat this all the way until we get to the end of course and then put a double crochet and a front post And a front post double crochet. Okay, so I've come to the end. We will end on a front post double crochet. And all we do is join to the top of the chain three and slip stitch. Okay, this is the easy part of the round. And all we're going to do now is chain one and put a single crochet directly into this chain one space. And of course, put one single crochet all the way around. And then you're just going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet and then finish off and weave in your ends. So you should have a total of 18 single crochets. And this is honestly really not required. 
you don't have to put a single crochet around because on my original pattern I actually just finished off after this round but I just wanted to throw it out there you can single crochet around it and it will give probably a neater look so but it's, it's ultimately up to you if you want to put single crochet around it you don't have to so I just finished off my little arm these are the little sleeves. They look so cute, don't they? Imagine the little dog arms through there. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so I have just finished. As you can see, all I did was slip stitch the very first single crochet, chain one, and then finish off. And then you're just going to weave in your ends. And then pretty much that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I just got done finished doing the other arm. So this is my very cute extra small dog sweater you can also make this probably for a little tiny cat maybe it even maybe even a little kitten or a puppy and you can make it in many colors so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today I really enjoyed making this sweater it is a very fun pattern to make you can make you can probably make about maybe three to four in a day these work up very quickly. This, this would be very perfect for charity to donate to dogs, especially at the shelters. Or in rescues as well. So here is my sweater. I'm very proud of it. I'm even thinking of making bigger sizes. Let me know if you guys would like to see this sweater in bigger sizes. Currently... I'm having a hard time designing a uh, medium size, unfortunately, because I don't have access to a medium sized dog. I'm able to create this because I am able to find dogs of the size and I measure them and try it on them as I go. So I'm able to provide the pattern. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of hard for me to say it'll fit a dog uh, when I don't have access to the dog. So, um, I'm trying my best as much as I can to make myself available to make any size. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like. Please do not forget to subscribe. And so please give me feedback on how I did this uh, video. And if you do like this video, please do, uh, do not forget to leave a comment and let me know. And if you have any pictures you guys would like to share, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. And I will be glad to see them. And soon I will be posting my monthly uh, dog pictures of uh, people who have watched my tutorials and made patterns for them and sent me pictures of their dogs. So if you're interested in that, please do not forget to send your dogs pictures. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.